Hey there, it's Brian Ellis, uh, Morning Show 101.5 The Wolf. And joining me today, we say hello to Randy Bachman. Hey, Randy. Good morning, Brian. I, are you in your, like, a home studio? I think you're in Vancouver, right? Yeah, see this? Do you know what this is? <laughs> I do know what that is. That's for the 45 records, yes. <laughs> I know. A lot of people don't know what that is. I have a t-shirt. I have a t-shirt with that on. Yeah. I was on an airplane, and a little kid said, I like your shirt. What is that? And I yep. said, oh, it's an old Egyptian symbol <laughs> discovered in the pyramids that means 45 RPM. And then he said, what's 45 RPM? <laughs> like, kids don't know what that is. But anyway, this is what That's Vinyl Tap is all about, playing old 45s and playing the old vinyl and telling all my stories about when I met that person on the record that I'm playing. So this is, we're excited. I mean, uh, here at The Wolf, we uh, we launch uh, your uh, radio special with uh, The Wolf coming up Sunday night. It's yeah. March the 6th at 9 p.m. Vinyl Tap. Um, for, for those that haven't heard the, the, the show before, kind of run through what an average ep episode uh, goes through. It's time travel. <laughs> I'm on a tour bus. I'm on an airplane. You're sitting beside me. It's a backstage pass. You're sitting there. I'm at a pop festival with Jimmy Page, Led Zeppelin, uh, Emerson, Lake, and Palmer, the Beach Boys. I'm hanging out with them. You guys are there. I'm telling you the stories. I'm playing the music. I'm playing demos that they've given me. I'm playing other things I've recorded. And, uh, you know, I ran away from home when I was about 17 and joined the circus. And that was the guess who. <laughs> I've been on the road ever since. And I remember all these people and all these stories and meeting a DJ like yourself, you might say, what was it like the first time you met Brian Wilson or Madonna or, you know, somebody like that. And I would tell that story or how did you write this song or that song? This is just all the stories put together. And every week we'll have a theme. Like one might be songs about summer, songs about water, songs about girls, songs about breaking up for Valentine's yep. day. Breaking okay. up, making up, right? Break up. You can't make up unless you break up. So every uh, thing has a, every show has a theme. And uh, <clears throat> I do involve the people. <clears throat> There's a website they can go to. There's a phone number they could call. Or they can send me real mail and email, like Randy's Vinyl Tap at, uh, at uh, it'll be there. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and I want the people to give me ideas. A lot of people, I had an air, uh, a pilot come to me once on Air Canada going, I love your show. Do a show about airplanes. And I said, tell me more than five songs about airplanes. Yeah. I was leaving on a jet plane, <laughs> yeah. big old jet airliner. <laughs> duh, you run out. So yeah. I did one, trains and boats and planes. And I started with Billy J. Kramer's trains and boats. Then I did a train song, you know, you know that. And then I, I expand on the show. So people send me ideas and I get them and expand on them. And then I give them credit. I give credit to the Air Canada pilot. Say, this guy gave me an idea for a show, and thank you very much. And it's yeah. almost like when you're a little kid, and it's I'm Kiddo the Clown, and it's hey, it's Brian's eighth birthday. Happy birthday, Brian! You're like you're on TV, you're on the radio. So yeah, I, I like to, I like the interaction. And then people come to my gigs and bring all kind of ideas. So it's it's kind of like my it's, it's like my own reality show every Sunday night. Yeah, but it's not just now. It's now. And when I met this guy from this weekend, two years ago or 10 years ago or five years ago. You know, and, you know, you 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 have a lot of stories. I mean, not only your time with the Guess Who, BTO, the solo career and the people you've met. At, at what point did you think to yourself, yeah, you know what? I think it's time I sort of put some of these uh, stories to air like this. I never wanted to do it, but I had a, I had a call once. Somebody said, we want you to do your work on a book with a with with the writer I, just, I don't want to do a book i don't want a biography or an autobiography i don't want it yeah i'm only half i'm living it i'm halfway through it and they said you better do one because somebody else is doing one and they're not talking to you and this guy's in montreal so he's getting all all the print he can on you and he's doing a third hand book he's reprinting what's already been printed wow and unless what's printed is biblical and correct and a lot of it isn't Mm -hmm. he's going to be making it biblical, doing your biography or autobiography, whatever. And the other people are going to copy that. So then I went in with John Einerson, who's a Winnipeg historian, and I did my 
the original book on the guess who, then a BTO one, then my own book. So I could at least get my own facts in there straight. Yeah, that's kind of, important. That's, that's what the show is getting everything straight. Yeah. So, you know, on top of um, Vinyl Tap, uh, a show that we're going to air Sunday nights uh, at nine o'clock on The Wolf, um, you've got a, another tour coming up with your son, Tal Bachman. Yeah. Um, and you've you've done this before, but it must still be cool for you to be able to go out on the road with with your son and play these kind of gigs, these kind of shows. It is because he's um, <laughs> he'd been there for like <laughs> most of my life i, I was yeah. like 24 when he was born and uh even the stories let me let me get this the stories of this guitar that was stolen and it's in japan i'm going to get it back in may like my stolen gretzer was gone for 50 years the first picture of me with this guitar in my basement tells two years old sitting at my feet with headphones listening to it and so <laughs> I can't take this on the road. This is worth about $25,000, really? but I'm getting a new one from Gretsch that I'm get, I'm starting in Winnipeg on August the 28th, which is where the story began. Okay. I'm doing a little, little, every song tells a story thing there in the Prairie province. And then I'm coming to the uh, Eastern Canada in the fall, but I'm touring okay. with Cummings in July uh, in your area, Hamilton and Toronto and London and things like that. So, but it's really great to have Tal there because he's an integral part of the story. And, uh, when I was on tour with like Van Halen for 10 months, Tal was there half the time. He's got his own Eddie Van, Eddie Van Halen gave Tal his guitar. I mean, that's like an incredible wow. thing. Yeah. That's which Tal amazing. sold. He, <laughs> ended up, he ended up selling it, which is a mistake. I mean, he kept it for 20 years. I mean, Eddie gave him number two, the red and black and white guitar. I mean, they were such good buddies on the road. So Tal has his own story. So I bring him in on the storytelling as well. Yeah, that's a great idea because I never thought about the fact that, you know, with with Tal growing up with, you know, your rock and roll lifestyle and seeing he's got a lot of stories himself. That's great that you guys collaborate like this. And he likes the same kind of music. Plus, he likes me, plus Queen, plus Van Halen. I was on the road in the 70s when he was discovering these other bands. So, I mean, he's really more in, into a lot of that stuff than me. So it's really cool. Yeah, that that's that's great. Um, so Vinyl Tap again Sunday night at nine. It's uh, two hours uh, every week, and as you say, you you just it's just kind of like if 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 we were sitting down having a coffee, you're just kind of telling stories, right? Well, there's nothing's written down. Tell helps me with the uh, with the facts because okay. I'll say the Van Halen tour. When did we play Knoxville? He'll okay. look it up. Yep. Because I have a story to tell about Knoxville when me and Eddie had a thing happen that a certain night in Knoxville, Tennessee. Uh, so Tal helps me with the dates, and um, basically that's it. Just just the facts and the stories just come out of my head and my heart. Yeah, and 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 you know playing. I mean, when you when you go to these uh, do these shows with Tal, I mean, uh, it must be great to uh, to sit back and and play some of the songs that bring back those memories. Well, it is because. Um, when I went to Joni Mitchell's first concert as Mitchell, she was Joni Anderson, then she married Chuck Mitchell. So it was a gig at the 4D, Joni and Chuck Mitchell. I went to that gig. I met a woman at that gig who I later married, who became Tal's mother. But when I went to pick her up the next day for our date, I sat at a piano and wrote the beginning to these eyes. And I'm not a piano guy, but I wrote that beginning. So when I showed that to Burton, we wrote these eyes. So later on in the show, I say, oh, well, by the way, I married that woman whose piano I sat at. And this is the product of that song, These Eyes. And here's Tal. And then Tal tells his story of his song, She's So High. And now he wrote She's So High for a girl in, in high school in, in White Rock. Wow. Oh, yeah. I, you know, we are we are really looking forward to uh, to having this uh, starting up Sunday night. It'll be uh, Sunday Great. night, March 6th at nine o'clock. It's uh, Randy Bachman's uh, Vinyl Tap, uh, two hours uh, weekly and uh, looking forward to hearing some songs that you're going to spin for us and uh, some of the stories. So we appreciate you chatting with us today. Thanks. I look forward to it. And welcome back, all the Vinyl Tap fans. The Rock keeps on rolling. Join me for a ride in the time machine. We are going to go coast to coast, right across Canada every yep. Sunday night. We're All right. going to rock you. Thanks so much, Randy. Appreciate it. Thanks, Brian. Bye-bye.